Hey guys, Dustin with Family Tree Investing. Just wrapped up first day of Mobile Home Park Boot Camp, and while I've still got a lot of stuff fresh in my mind, wanted to uh, try to uh, explain some, some of the things that uh, we went through today and that we uh, really focused on. And it was a lot of information, and that's why I'm filming this outside. I've been sitting at a desk or in a chair or on a couch or at a table just staring at a computer screen. And so I'm gonna make this uh, as, as concise as possible here uh, because I am tired of staring at a screen here. But nonetheless, I think I promised that I was gonna make these videos and so I'll just start things off. The first thing that we focused on was that um, just really the history of, of mobile home parks, how they, and how they really transitioned to the affordable housing product that they are today. So that was, that was really interesting, um, just because didn't really know the history. Why were they ever called trailer parks? Th th things like that. Um, it's because at one time they were all uh, meant to be hooked on a trailer and just towed around all over the place and parked in parks with, uh, specifically for, for these trailers that, uh, typically wealthy folks would would only have and now pretty interesting that that has transitioned into what it has become today around affordable housing found that pretty interesting the next thing that we hit on was how to uh, find mobile home parks so every, everything from uh, the best ways to send out flyers tips on cold calling um, how to communicate with brokers you know maybe when a broker has too high of a price that you don't really understand how to how to work with them without you know really offending them or anything like that and as as part of this i can't forget we also got a comprehensive list of close to every single part uh, every single mobile home park in the u.s so it's a list of like forty thousand or more parks that uh the guys uh <laughs> through through this class you know prepared so it is something that i'm definitely interested on in, in going through if i have a particular market in mind you can kind of jump to or, or state or, or anything like that you can jump to its entire list of, of mobile home parks which is which is pretty awesome and then we did spend a fair amount of time on how to value mobile home parks so this is something that um, one of the few things that I researched before even coming to the class and so they did really reiterate a lot of those points which is just basically uh, valuing a park purely based off of its uh, net operating income. You know, you take your NOI, which is based on, or, you know, you take your, your gross rents based on your, your lot rent only, apply kind of a standard metric of a 30 or 40% expense ratio based on whether or not the park pays for sewer or water, which side note, that was another interesting point earlier in the day that they really just showed a breakdown of typical expense ratios you know everything from advertising to um, capital expenses, things like that, and water and sewer was was right up there with you know the highest expense. So anyway, back to the uh, the valuation here. You know after you apply those those percentages, um, you get your net operating income, and then you can apply you know a standard cap rate to to try to come up with your with your evaluation and. Another interesting part, I keep getting on tangents here, but <laughs> that's just how much information uh, they kind of poured on us today was, you know, again, a really good metric is your cap rate, your purchase cap rate should be three points higher than the interest rate that you get on your, your debt, assuming that you're gonna use debt to, to finance this um, and you're gonna put 20 or 25% down. Because as long as you can do that, you know that your cash on cash return is at least gonna be like 20%, which is just, just phenomenal. And that's not even including, you know, your ability to improve the park um, or anything like that, because that was a, was a really interesting metric because I don't think you can achieve that on many other asset classes, real estate wise, that I, that I know of today. Um, another quick point on valuation. I thought this was a really interesting one one that I hadn't considered really was that when you're, uh, you know, first, I just mentioned that you really want that three point spread. Well, ideally you would get that on the purchase for sure, but there can be cases where 
you might decide that um, or you might see a lot of potential in the park maybe it is overpriced and you know you can maybe quickly improve the lot rents maybe you can you know immediately you can build back sewer or fill some empty pads and really boost that that NOI and all of a sudden that cap rate um, can can be immediately improved and so maybe you're going in cap rates really not so great but within six months to a year you can really you can really make that look a lot more attractive okay last quick thing about uh, day one here was that they gave us actually a little opportunity at the end um, to go through in real time with with Frank the presenter uh, just going right to a couple actively advertised listings out there on mobile home park store and walking through um, you know just just picking random deals and, and looking at those and evaluating you know where they're located uh, showing us a couple different avenues to go and investigate the, the market of, of each of those like the metro areas and, and things like that what to look for in those marketplaces uh, you know in terms of population housing vacancy um, gosh what else um, also you know also doing a, a quick again deal evaluation based you know is that is that a good deal um, as far as all these indicators are, are showing here is that a good price to purchase at what, what would be a good price so with all that being said I've got uh, a lot more of this this to process here I'm certain I missed probably you know obviously ton, tons of information I couldn't convey all in this uh, looks like maybe like an eight minute video here so uh, but I still wanted to hit those highlights those are some of those key points I, I took away from today and I hope we get more clarification on these things coming into tomorrow we're gonna dive right you know into more uh, deal evaluation tomorrow also get some virtual walkthroughs of, of different different parks that they've kind of prepared for us in advance here um, oh another another cool part of today was actually they brought on some folks who actually insure mobile home parks to talk about really some things to be leery of when you are you know more kind of on the operation side of a park uh, trampolines uh, playgrounds um, different types of things that you you're certainly gonna come across uh, uh, you know different different breeds of dogs and things like that that you really have to be cautious of when you're insuring a mobile home park um, flood zones hurricane zones tornadoes you know how can we insure against those things so all super good info things that I in all of my research just haven't actually directly heard that anyone or read that from anything quite as direct as that so um, okay I'm gonna cut myself off here hopefully that gives you guys an idea of what day one of the mobile home Park University's uh, boot camp first day looks like and with that I will be back tomorrow with an update um, maybe through one at least throughout the day uh, but at the very least I'll post one at the end of the session tell you guys about day two all right I'll talk to you guys soon thanks